Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm going to play with a July Glimmer Hot Foil Kit. This month it is really versatile and perfect for those who love uh, mini slimline cards. You will get all those borders which are going to give a lovely finished look on all your slimline cards. You will also get a foil roll. And I know that this set is one of those that I will be using throughout the year because I like to have borders on my card, especially when they give uh, that uh, foiling look on the edges. So uh, I am going to work on a standard mini slimline card that's 3 by 6 and I'm going to work with a larger one. For my main focal points I decided to go with some of my dies since I cannot stay away from them. And I'm going to play with the nest, the eggs and the flowers and all these come from the spring set and I will also bring in the branch as well as the leaves which are from the birds set. I'm going to start with foiling the border and since I will have the glimmer machine out I will also foil the sentiment. For that I went with one that says two of a kind since I'm going for a card that is for newborn twins. So I did warm the plates on my Glimmer hot foil machine. Now I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. I like to do that a couple of times. And with one passing I did create the border with the foiling on my main panel. And again this is 3x6. This is going to cover up completely my card front. And I did use gold foiling for my card today. And I do have my sentiment foiled as well. I had no overfoiling, so I'm really happy with that. I also went ahead and did all the die cutting just using colored cardstock. And I'm working on my panel using my blending brush, adding just a touch of blue at the background, which is going to help some of my elements to pop even more. I'm not going for the perfect blending and I'm not going to cover it up completely. Just a little bit here and there is fine. If you have some uh, white spots, it's even better. They are going to look like clouds. I'm also going over the foiling with a clean cloth to remove any excess ink that stays on top. And now I'm ready to start sticking down all my elements. I'm not using any glue at the back of the leaves so that I can uh, easily lift them up and add some dimension. Lately I tend to use my Burley Art glue. I find that uh, the tip is super super fine and it is perfect for all those very intricate die cuts. Plus the needle always keeps that tip unclogged. One of the fun parts of designing a collection when you are a crafter is that you end up adding all those little details that you have been wanting. So in this case for the nest I did add a slit so you can easily tuck inside the eggs. You can easily also customize this card. So of course you can have just one egg in the nest. You can also have it uh, in blue or in pink or you can add even more than two. I'm also keeping this design quite simple but if you want you can dress it up even more by adding the birds on the branch as well for a complete family. So I decided to go with just three of the tiny flowers. I did use uh, my blending brush to add a touch of yellow at the center. I also used my scalping tool to add some dimension on the flower and now I'm going to stick them down. I also used some foam tape at the back of my sentiment. I'm going to stick it on one side of my card. You can also foil the sentiment directly on your panel. I just chose to do it separately. I like to mention that's why I always go with um, pop-up elements if I have the chance. Now here is an afterthought. This is where I thought that the nest needed some kind of a shadow to make it look more dimensional. That's why I'm using my mini blending tool and adding a touch of a darker shade of brown at the bottom. And finally I did add tiny gems at the center of the three flowers. So here is a close-up look of the finished card. And you can see some close-up photos. Just like always, you will find a full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. Don't forget to like the video, to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and also leave me a comment. Thank you all so much for joining me today, and I'll see you all next time.